and welcome to your week. It's Monday morning. I'm here with Dr. Murphy, and we are here to bust some myths or confirm some things to be true. Right? Right. Are you ready for your question? Yes. Okay, so today, this was actually submitted by one of our patients who had a question for you on metformin. She wants to know, is it true that metformin causes dementia? You know, you look at things we see and we read them every day. And I always have to relate this to coffee, to where if you read half the study says coffee's good for you, the other half the study says, oh my God, don't drink that stuff. That stuff's terrible for you. You know, and you read studies that are like, oh, don't drink regular pop because that's bad for you. Oh, don't drink diet pop because that causes dementia. You know, everything causes dementia. Uh, everything with excess causes dementia. If you drink too much, it causes dementia. If you eat too much water, it causes dementia. If you don't exercise much, enough, it causes dementia. Everything causes dementia. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I'm not going to say anything about metformin causes dementia. You know, the question is, why are you on metformin to begin with? Diabetes, right? That causes dementia. Oh. So, is it metformin or the diabetes, the underlying condition they're treating that's causing dementia? I don't see how these people come up with this stuff. It just drives yeah. me crazy. So, yeah. I'm about to say myth busted. Yeah. I, you know, it may or may not, but what's worse? Do you want dementia or do you want to die of a massive heart attack before you get dementia? Yeah. So, you know, don't worry about the metformin too much. I think there's a lot of other medicines out there that work better than metformin. Here's the problem they're more expensive. Mm. Metformin is relatively cheap. The what are, are the expensive. ones that are a little more expensive? Everything else. Everything else? Yeah. Like, but, by how much? Like, 10 times? Oh, my God, yeah, Michelle. Some are 100 times more expensive. I mean, some diabetic medicines cost $1,000 a month. No. How are people supposed to get a break in this stinking world? <laughs> oh, my oh, God. That's a trash talk. That gets me back in my pharmaceutical company soapbox. That's so I, jacked up. It is. It is. And it's... It's it's really hard. Yeah. What these pharmaceutical companies are doing to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and you want to know what I should I tell you my if I was the richest person I'd change my mind. Do you want to hear? Remember how I told you if I was the richest person I'd bring back dinosaurs. Yeah. If I was the richest person I'd fix that pharmaceutical. We would be passing out drugs right and left. How would you do? Legal. It? I don't know. I'll tell you how. It's really easy. To yeah. Fix. <clears throat> Number one, uh, let compounding pharmacies run wild. Okay. Limit the restrictions on compounding pharmacies. There's a lot of federal laws in a lot of states that limit what a compounding pharmacy, and all it is, is a pharmacy that can make drugs. And they can make them a whole lot cheaper than the brand name drugs. But uh, there's laws passed in certain states by lobbyists who give money to our legislators that say, oh no, you can't do that one. Yeah, you know, because because uh, it hurts the pocket of who they represent. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's about money. Is yeah. what we're talking about. Usually here. is. But if I was the richest person in the world, give me Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, I could correct this easily. I would yeah. make nothing but one big generic pharmaceutical company, and I would compete with every drug maker out there in the world. Yeah. And I would sell my medicines for a modest profit. I would make money. That's. It's gonna, that's, you got to make money to we exist. Got, we got to make money to exist, but we don't have to sit here and gouge sick people. Yeah. Now, I'm not a socialist, and I'm not really a capitalist. I'm like, my God, can we at least do the right thing for Just take care of people. Lord uh, have mercy. You know, I tell this to a lot of people all the time. Life is a zero-sum game. We come in the world with nothing, we're leaving with nothing. Mm -hmm. How do you want to play the game in the meantime? Yeah. If you think you're going to die the richest person in the world, and that's supposed to mean something, no, it yeah. doesn't. Yeah. It's what you do is your legacy. Yeah. So these people that think, oh, I'm going to die with millions, millions, millions of dollars, and I got it all, and I won the game. No, you didn't. You lost because nobody's yeah. going to remember your name. Yeah. Or if they do, they'll remember you for being that old son of a bee who gashed you for medicine. <laughs> yes. And they, they more than likely will. Yeah. So I mean, you go down. And then if you're in China and they're tracking your social credits, have you heard about that? No. Well, we'll talk about that another day. Okay. But they're, they're starting to do this new thing where uh, basically the, when you exist in the world, you have social credits based on behavior that is judged by cameras. Oh, great. Um, that uh, I guess Facebook and Google and all, on all kinds That's of That's going to put me at the bottom of the wrong end. Well, it's interesting. By whose standard? If you're a pharmaceutical guy, what? you you got to already be a bad guy right off the bat, but you're a millionaire. But honestly, there are even things that, where you can't even get on the subway because your social points are really low. Anyway, we'll talk about that another day. 
I'm not that educated on it. I know this much information. But then the United States have kicked me out of the country. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I will have zero social points. So, anyway, so I guess Metformin. We'll get back to why we're here. Okay. Myth busted. Myth Metformin busted. doesn't it's necessarily fine. blah, blah. It's fine. Everything could cause dementia. Sure. Hang in there. Drink yes. your coffee because, man, I don't want to live in the world where I can't have that. No. All right. <laughs> so, we will see you next week. If you have a question you'd like me to ask him, let me know. And we will see it and also share this video, please, because we like to share our message. See you next time. Have a good week.